Good morning everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my November TBR. I don't know why I said that so weird. Today's going to be my November TBR. Day of November and I'm finally doing this but it's fine. I had I my camera broke. It was a whole fiasco but we're here. We're going to talk about the books I plan on reading this month. This month is a busy month because my thesis is due the 25th so I have a somewhat minor um, TBR, but it's still good. Anyway, let's just get into it. Um, I'm going to start with the physical books I have first. Start with the top one. We have Beloved by Toni Morrison. I have to read this for class, actually, um, and this is a good reminder that I should probably start this. That way I am able to discuss it. But anyway, I have to read this for class, and another one I have to read for class is actually Fledg Fledgling, which I'll just put right here. I don't have a physical book. But I'm going to read this book too for class. Those are my, I think they're just, they're the last two novels I have for my, my last class I'm ever taking actually, hopefully, if I graduate this year. But yeah, Beloved by Toni Morrison is a, I've only actually read one book by Toni Morrison. I have a lot of her books on my shelf. I have Paradise and the Bluest Eye, um, and then Song of Solomon. So I've read Song of Solomon, but I haven't read any of these other three that I have. So I'm excited that I'll finally be able to mark one off. Um, I really don't know what it's about. I think it's something, it's some sort of relationship between, I know there's a mother and a daughter or a mother and a baby relationship and conversations about motherhood within slavery. I don't know exactly though. So, because I haven't read it obviously. So I'm excited to read this and Fledgling is a vampire story by octavia butler and i think it discusses i don't know exactly what it discusses but it's a vampire story i'm sure there's themes of like i don't know bloodletting and things like that but i believe the vampire main character or at least one of the main characters is like several years old like i don't know if she's hundreds of years old or just a few decades old but she has the appearance of a child but like she's still a sexual object which I think is really interesting because like she's lived for like let's just say 80 years but she looks like a 10 year old what does that really mean I don't know but anyway those are the two books for class and then I have some books that I'm currently reading the first one being the pumpkin spice cafe by Lori uh, Gilmore I think I'm about like almost halfway through this I'll definitely finish it it's been such a fun cozy read for this like fall time. Books are very easy. I would say, I, I can't remember who compared it to like a Hallmark-esque movie in book form, but that's exactly what it is. It's very low maintenance, low key, feel good romance that I know I'm going to enjoy. And we have a little bit of a forbidden love in this, like very, very minor of that like trope. But yeah, small town vibes. It's giving Gilmore Girls because literally her name is a pen name, but Anyway, I like it. And if I, I'll just hop into this. If I finish this, I would really love to read the second and the third book in this series. I believe the second book is called The Cinnamon Bun Bookstore or something like that. Definitely want to read this this month at the very least. But this is about, I think the guy's name is Noah. He's a fisherman. And then the girl who, her name is Annie? I don't remember. I'm forgetting now. But is a bookstore one and then there's also a winter one which I'm forgetting what that one's called but I really want to read that one as well because it sounds super good those are the three that are out right now I think the fourth one is coming out in March so that'll be way further down the line but as of now I'd like to read the first three books of this series at least the first two books in November I think it'd be really fun to do that but yeah love this one another book that I started reading last month that I just would like to kind of get off my tbr is the southern book club's guide to slaying vampires i feel like this is either a summer book or it's like an october book and that's why i just need to finish it i want to get through it i'm honestly probably going to restart it because i started reading it and i maybe got like 10 percent through but i really i really don't remember anything it's about a book club who reads about slaying vampires i think but then there's actually a vampire that comes into town and they're like who's this um, but when I started reading it, it was really interesting. I like the writing so far, and so I just need to dedicate time into reading it because I think it will be really good. And the cover is just so slick. 
Anyway, I have a nonfiction book I would like to read. Honestly, this is only on my TBR this month because my friend Kristen is coming back from being abroad and she asked for it back when she gets back, which I have two weeks until that. But it's called The Sin of Certainty, Why God Desires Our Trust More Than Our Correct Beliefs. Um, which honestly, I have no idea what this is going to be about, but Kristen recommended it to me after several discussions on like our our faith, our relationship with God, like our hindrances, our questions, whatever. So she recommended this and I trust her. So I'm sure this is a really good one, but it's by Peter Enns and I, I've never read anything by him, but we'll see. I'm excited. Hopefully I can finish this. It's a pretty small book, but I'm sure it's very powerful. They're all the books I have like with me and plus a few extra because I talk a lot but there are a few books that came out this month that I am planning on reading on my Kindle or on Libby or whatnot if I can get if I can get them that's the only issue I have to be able to get them so first one being Lost and Lassoed which is the third book of the Rebel Blue Ranch series I've read both of these um books I rated them both four stars I want to say I want to say I rated them both four Dunn and Dustin and Swift and Saddled thought they were so good so I think Lost and Lassoed will also be really good I will say I feel more separated from this series than I was with um like the Edens or the Chestnut Spring series like I don't know like I kind of forget about the series and then when a book has come out I just read it and I'm like oh okay like oh I remember that person from the first book so I really don't know who these Oh, Teddy Anderson. Okay, I remember her name. That's it. I don't know what her relationship is to the rest of the series. She might be a sister or something. I can't remember. I can't remember. But anyway, I'm excited for that. It looks really, really good. And it oh, looks like she's coming out with a fourth book this spring. But right now, right now we are focused. We are focused on Lost and Lassoed. So I really want to read that one. That's one of the ones that I'm planning on reading this month. Oh my gosh, okay, I just spent so long trying to remember what book I also knew just came out on the 5th because Lost and Lassoed or whatever it called, it's called Just Came Out a couple days ago. The other book, and I think the last book I'm going to put on my TBR is, oh my gosh, I don't even know what it's called, but I know that I've read all of the books and it's like the villains are the main characters from Disney stories. I think it's by Emily McIntyre. I'm, I'm looking it up. I... I think I bought the first one or someone bought it for me, but I've rated them all, um, I've rated them all four stars. Oh no, three, three to four stars. Okay, I rated the first one four stars, but all the rest three stars. I bet there's some three and a half star, probably. But anyway, it's called the Never After series, and she's coming out with the sixth and final book. She just came out with it, and it's called Hexed. And it is a retelling on The Little Mermaid, which that means that the villain is Ursula, which I don't know what her name is in here. Let's look it up. Vanessa. 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 Which that's her name when she's turned into a human, right? I think. So it's Vanessa um, and Enzo. <laughs> I'm so excited. These books are like a darker romance, um, but I just eat them up. I read them on Kindle Unlimited. I think it would be fun to own all of them just because I own the first one. But as of right now, I read them on Kindle Unlimited and I'll definitely be reading that because those are quick books for me and I have to read the last book in the series. I've read all of the other ones. Okay, I think we have nine books on our TBR or my TBR this month, including all the ones that I don't physically have here which is a pretty ambitious TBR for such a busy month, but I'm excited. I think I can do it. I have some really good book picks and I am excited to read. So yeah, I'm planning on doing, hopefully, fingers crossed, a 24 hour like reading challenge over Thanksgiving break. That's my hopes and dreams because since I don't have um, work, I could totally do that. But Anyway, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please encourage me to read these. Please keep me accountable, and I will talk to you guys very, very soon. Let me know what you're reading, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Peace and love. Bye, guys.